Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I'm going to show you how I designed and built this custom wooden box with the name of my little daughter with LED, LED backlighting. So stay tuned for the video. So the design itself is super easy. I just used light burn to create the faceplate with the custom name on it. And I just added an outside frame for the cutting edge and that's it. Then as for the frame, I designed it in Fusion 360. Just designed two of them, the longer and the shorter sides. And I have to cut two of these. I just exported the file into SVG, imported into Lightburn and I could start laser cutting right away. So let's go to the cutting. I already made a trial with cardboard and it looks pretty good so let's go real i will use three millimeter plywood i already framed the part because it's 20 times 30 centimeters so i have to position it perfectly now i feel like it's it's good enough and now i will hit start So it's done. I made three passes, although as you could most probably tell it cuts through already in the second pass. This 5W laser diode could have cut it through in one single pass, but, but to be on the safe side I used to make two or three passes to have some safety margin because I do not want to waste any material. So let's see how it turned out. As you can tell, it's really nice. And uh, because of air assist, the other side is also super clean. And I can still use this. I think this also looks pretty nice. By the way, this is a Scalpfan S35 a diode laser. I definitely recommend it. It's dirt cheap. But for hobbyists, it's just perfect. It can cut through 3mm plywood basically in one single pass. Okay, no, I made three passes, but it's not really needed. If you slow it down, you can definitely make it in one pass, but it just works so reliably. I really like it. You can find the link to, the, to this diode laser in the video description below. So all the parts are cutted, 4mm plywood can easily be cutted with one single pass, it's pretty cool. So let's see if they fit together. So here we have all the parts, we only have to glue it together. The joints turn out pretty nice, they are even a, a little bit maybe loose. So next time I will I will change my settings, but it will work just fine. To make a quick glue up, I will just use super glue. I will use a cheap square to align them properly during the glue up.
thinking what could I use as a diffuser here. And I thought maybe a white paper would do the trick. So at first I will I will just put it in, maybe I will just use some some glue. And if it works, it works. If not, I will use maybe a 3D printed one or two layers white diffuser, I would say. So let's give it a go. I will glue it in. So from outside it's looking quite good. Later on I will also glue in the, the two missing parts for the two A's. But at first let's install the LED strip and let's see if it works. So I will use this LED strip. This is one meter long. I can cut it to lengths at each and every of these copper markings. This is a 5 volt LED strip. There is just a battery holder in it with four AA, uh, AAA batteries and there is a switch on it. I will just glue it all around the circumference of this with its own glue. There is a double-sided tape at the, band, at the end, at the bottom. Let's see if it works. Maybe it will not hold properly on, on wood. Then I will just use super glue. And I will make here a cutout on the rear side, but at first I will check if it works and how it works. So I will just close it up and let's turn it on. Wow, it's looking super good. I like it. It's definitely visible that uh, the paper is not totally homogeneous, so I might try it later on a 3D printed diffuser from white filament. Maybe two layers should be fine to still be transparent enough to to let the LED strips shine through it. But I'm I'm quite happy with it. I don't know guys, what do you think? I think it's quite good. Okay. And now I will make a cutout here. And it fits. So there are multiple ways to, to fix the back plate. One option would be just to super glue it and then it's permanently done because the only thing you have to do is replacing the battery here. You could also alternatively use a phone charger, but even in this case you could close it up permanently. So what I will do now, I will use some double-sided tape, cut a few strips all around, maybe four, five centimeter long strips and just glue it on and that's it. And it's done. It's holding good enough. So let's test it in dark. Three, two, one, go. I think it's looking pretty good. I like it. As you can see I already glued up the two 
missing a button things I think it's this is looking pretty good let's see from a distance okay guys so that's all for this video I hope you liked it if yes please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next time bye